how do I build a project manually? Well, you start out by adding a pattern, a bolt pattern to the project. I'll change the name of the project by going to data, going to the name, and I'll make up a name. for this project. Next thing you do is you add features. I'm going to add four whole features to this project. We'll call this one whole one. And I'm just going to make up some numbers here. Let's say my X is 100, my Y is 100, I have a true position tolerance of 250, a diameter of, I don't know, 5, with a plus and minus tolerance of 1, 0.1. It's an inner diameter. If I go to graphics, you'll see that I just added a whole one. I added, I added a feature called whole one. I'm going to add a second feature. Uh, let's call this whole two. And let's make this one uh, x of minus 100, y of minus 100, with a true position tolerance of 250, a diameter of 5, diameter plus tolerance of 0.1, minus tolerance of 0.1, and it's an inner diameter. Now I've got two whole features. Let's add a third. Let's make this one whole three. Let's make this one at uh, x of zero, y 100, with a true position tolerance of 250, diameter nominal of 5, diameter plus tolerance of 0.1, diameter minus tolerance of 0.1, and it's an inner diameter as well. We'll add one more. Call this hole 4. We'll make it an x of 0, a y of minus 100. True position tolerance of 250. Diameter of 5. Plus tolerance of 0.1. Minus tolerance of 0.1 for the diameter. And it's an inner diameter. Now you can see I've got 4 whole features. Let's increase the scaling so I can see it a little bit better. We'll leave the percent of tolerance criteria set to 80 percent. Okay, now we've got the four features. Now it's time to actually add actual information or actual part measurement information. So what I need to do now is add a part. If I click on this button, it'll add a part. Now here you'll notice we've got the x-actual, the y-actual, diameter-actual for holes 1, holes 2, holes 3, and holes 4. Here you just manually enter the data into the project. So let's enter some numbers. Uh, let's keep the numbers simple. So for hole 1, I'll put in 100.1 for x. 100.1 for y, 4.99 for the diameter. Hole 2, let's see, hole 2 is minus 100 and minus 100. Let's, let's make the, this number minus 99.9 for x, minus 99.9 for y, with a diameter of 5.1. <coughs> Hole 3, hole 3 was at 0, the nominal was at 0 and 100, so let's make this 0.1 for x and 100.1 for the y. Let's also make this diameter, we'll make this diameter 4.999. Hole 4, uh, Let's see, that was x0, y of minus 100 for the nominal. So let's make this 0.1 for 
for the x and minus 99.9 for the y. And for the diameter, let's make this, uh, I don't know, 4.98. So if we click on the graphics, we can now see the four holes that we entered, in, entered it in. Now we, I intentionally entered the data so that it would everything would be shifted to the right and up. Here you can see each hole is yellow. Each uh, position is yellow, the, the dot's yellow, indicating that it's beyond the true position zone. But since we've got max material condition, it's intolerance but just barely. So here you saw how we manually enter the data in. Uh, if you want to now you can go to control and do your best fits. And that's all there is to manually entering the data. It's actually a fairly straightforward process.